Welcome to the show. <laughs> Paul Gubbins show? The Welcome to the show in the basement. <laughs> Hello, we have with us today is Steve Safalo. Hello, I'm pleased to be here in the studio. Steve has a much nicer microphone than I do, and that's why it's, his voice is clear. I sound very NPR. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, uh, <laughs> on the show, this is the inaugural show of this. It will be posted to the internet tonight. Super duper. It's February 26th. Um, 2005. 2005. And uh, we will be calling people. So so on this show, we'll be featuring guests. Um, the thing that makes this show particularly unique is that um, rather than being a call-in radio show, um, we're a call-out show where we call... You, where, or maybe not you, but we call, <laughs> we call the callers, and the uh, and it's not radio either. <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> so, uh, so w- where should we begin, Paul? Well, let's um, uh, hello, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> let's uh, we could begin by, um, we could call. Uh, <laughs> So we'll begin by uh, our first attempt at getting a hold of a caller. We'll be this is Steve Stefano, we'll our guest host for today. Is Hello, <laughs> pleased to be on the broadcast. It works out better. Um, okay. Okay. First, we're we're going to try to call Mike Michael Lyerly, um of uh, popular punk rock bands Sufi Nun Squad and Tomeo's Key. Um, Your balance is. <laughs> Uh, actor on the show Fun and Games, and he's uh, he's got a um, gallery showing in Little Rock, Arkansas. Go give me his number. I can call him. And I'll have right here. Currently, where he's showing his contemporary realist um, figurative paintings. I was a uh, a fellow student with michael and uh we both studied at a uh, school of visual arts in savannah georgia and in new york city um uh, we were best friends and without getting too personal <laughs> um eh, he lives in little north little rock arkansas Do we have Hello? a connection? Um, well, I think we're on his answering machine right now. Michael Lyerly's answering machine. <laughs> this is um, this is a radio show with <laughs> Steve Cefalo and Paul Gubbins, and I think we're leaving a message. <laughs> I put the thing in that I don't know exactly what happened, if we got a tone or not. <laughs> so, Steve, if you'd like to say something. Hello, Mike. Um, this is the this this is the show in the basement. Um, and we've called you. This is a call out. Uh, non-radio recorded show and um you're not home so we'll try to get back to you some other time and that music means <laughs> we're, we're done with this phone call <laughs> i i don't know whether we got an answer machine or not <laughs> okay well, let's let's um uh let's see here um let's you sure that are you sure that he didn't answer it didn't. I don't think it, he did. I, it sounded like an answering machine. What if we call Chris Dickens? Okay. Um. Let me. Um. We're gonna have some segue music here. Um. Wait. No, I don't want that one. Not that. This one. And uh, while we're waiting for the the phones to work, we could try him at his parents' house. Ah, Chris Dickens' phone is at the um. Mm-hmm. We could, try, we could try Mike at his parents' house. You think he'd be there? He might.
Rock and Roll Patrol performing the song Sigico off of their off of their um their uh off of their album Farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol which is available at the Internet Archive at archive.org just search for RRP and you will get all related albums <laughs> And now we are going to attempt to call Mike Lyerly again <laughs> but we're going to make the entire phone call on the air this time because because <laughs> calling the other way was confusing <laughs> and um oh no did we just call his parents no i just called the calling card okay the Your balance is four dollars <laughs> 79 this is what we were trying to avoid please enter the phone number you wish Everybody's to leave hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the second attempt. Did we did we keep all the one hundred sixty five minutes to repeat all the stuff about Mike or no? Okay. Hello. Michael Riley, the tallest <laughs> in the world. Please leave your message after the code. Hello, Mike. This is um, this is <laughs> Steve and Paul again. <laughs> Sorry, we missed you. This is a this is an uh, a an internet broadcast radio show. That's in. You're our would be guest. <laughs> so we keep calling, <laughs> and. Uh, that music means it's time for us to go. <laughs> well, thanks for having us on. Bye, Mike. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't work out. Very so, uh, who do you want to try next? Maybe um, the Petersons? We could call them. Well, how, what time is it, though? It's 8 o'clock at night? <laughs> okay, let's let's okay. give it a whirl, shall we? Um, do you have their phone number? Okay. Um, okay, the, the Petersons. Here we go. I need the whole oh. thing, then. Oh, man, that's big. Here we go. Okay. Zero. So, Dan Peterson is the singer of Blaster, the Rocket Man, and... Um, I believe the he's got a new project. Um, he's living in Glasgow, Scotland, and uh, he's uh, a new album will be recorded uh, by the voice of the Misterons. One of uh, Dan's new projects. It's busy. Uh, oh, well, it's busy. That means somebody's there. So uh, we should continue to call. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, any, uh, any blaster songs no, in there? No, okay. Just... So, Paul, what do you think about Dan Peterson, Blaster of the Rock Man, Glasgow, Scotland, um, and those things? <laughs> I think lofty thoughts about those things. Me too. Um, maybe we should have another song while we. <laughs> it sounds great. While we, um, let's see here. This is another one off the. The Farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol album. It's one called um, Thunder on the Ohio. (laughs) I'm clicking on it on the internet. (laughs) (laughs) I'm waiting for a response. Page cannot be displayed. Great. Let's try it again. I'll click on it again. Okay. So here I would like to uh, do my commercial for Windows 98. I like NASCAR and I like both.
Here we are. We're back. That was Thunder on the Ohio by the Rock and Roll Patrol off their A Farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol album with Chris Dickens on drums and Justin Elliman on bass. You know, Paul, it'd be great if I could get, uh, if I could hear myself. You cannot hear yourself? No. Um, now? There we go. That's there good. Go. Okay. Um, we are going to take a hard break, which means that we are going to stop recording and go get something to eat. And it will be like we were never gone to you <laughs> out there in the world. It's the magic of non-radio <laughs> broadcasts. We may even edit the second section to precede this <laughs> first section. <laughs> if we are feeling especially <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> okay. And um, we have to go out with some music. One more from the uh, the farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol album. We're going out with some music. Now we are out. <laughs> We thought about interviewing you about touring with Squad 5 0. You should send us to Andy. Andy will play it. And welcome back to the show. Welcome. Welcome. I, I think I peaked on there. Um. We have with us now in the studio here, we have with us our guest host and guest, Steve Cefalo. Hello. Uh, I'm Paul Gubbins, and we've got with us Chris Dickens and John Barry. We're pleased to be here, Paul. Pleased that the studio. They are here. I, um, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> it's for the bass drum. So, basically... Uh, at this point, we're trying to figure out exactly how to structure the show. <laughs> <laughs> We've tried calling people, but nobody. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's, um... <laughs> well, her phone's in the car, she said. Um, what about you? Do you have your phone on you? <laughs> um, what's your phone number? So, John, you've been uh, touring with. We're we calling your phone. Is it ringing? Hello. Hello, John Barry. <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> it's um. It's good to talk to you. We have John Barry now. We have him on line one and in the studio <laughs> on line one. Um. Is there uh? Um. Well, that music means that it's. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything. Um, <laughs> so, John, um, uh, you've been touring with Squad Five O, I understand. True. Um, and uh, are you roadieing? Um, what are you doing <laughs> exactly? And could you tell us about some of your uh, of your experiences on the tour? Hmm. All around entertainer. Okay. No. No. I'm not 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 into it. No. Okay. I'd rather well, not so be interviewed about this. You don't this. entertain. I just rather not be interviewed about this. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, uh, so John Barry, uh, you've been a uh, <laughs> regular guy about 
Uh, <laughs> about 20 <laughs> As far as I can remember. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got any songs, Paul? <laughs> um. What? Uh, so, you have any, do you have any suggestions about how we might structure this radio show? <laughs> John or Chris? Make more calls. Um, calls. But it's hard to do the calls with it on the monitors here. Let's do the calls. Let's see. Um, um, I wonder if... Maybe if I repatch this all here. <laughs> it took me like three hours to get... It's a very complex because it's... Like, I've got the call in a certain... It's... Um, let's see here. Um, let's let's play a song, and we'll we'll come back after the song. Uh, we play this one. It's off the album "Farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol," and it is a song called "Dirt Heap." Coming up in just a minute. Okay. Got a in the dirt, I was waiting 
that was the Rock and Roll Patrol uh, off their <laughs> a farewell to the Rock and Roll Patrol album. And we're back in the studio here with with Laura Harris, John Barry, and Chris Dickens, Steve Cefalo and Amy Cefalo. And uh, anybody... Uh, What's the point? To be <laughs> Why are we doing this? The... <laughs> To make you feel um, good, to just hear your own voice. I, <laughs> 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 no, it's um, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm really technically just the the uh, engineer of the show. I just don't have anybody to host it. <laughs> um, it's always been a dream of mine. Are you interviewing me for my? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> well, um, as a child. Uh, yeah, did a radio show. Um, okay, so we've got a we've got a few different choices of possible topics here. We could either a talk about um, the fact that we have two former members. Wait, one one current member of Rock and Roll Patrol and one former member of the old version of Rock and Roll Patrol, um, or the oh, fact that the original version. The uh, we've. Uh, We've got um, Laura Harris, is that right? Um, <laughs> Laura, yeah. Um, who I haven't seen in <laughs> like five years. Um, Which was not an accident. I <laughs> 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 you were looking. You were, <laughs> she was if I have it my way, it's going to be five <laughs> more years. Um, <laughs> okay. oh, we we'll, we'll turn the, the bathroom mic on over here. <laughs> we're, we we're all talking. Steve and I've been talking like this for a couple hours now. <laughs> Why do you have to talk like that for a radio show? <laughs> so you don't sound stupid. Oh. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> well, so we were just discussing. <laughs> Uh, you have to keep talking about something. Yeah. And we were just discussing. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. Let's call somebody. Um, I don't know how well it will work. Let's see. <laughs> they have the internet. <laughs> so, Laura. Um. Oh. You've just had your first child. Yes. Four Could you tell us? Dollars. Oh. Seventy-two. Oh, this is just the... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's the name of your new baby? Elijah. Elijah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, and uh, what's he look he like? Do <laughs> <laughs> you even see my pictures? Um, I don't think so. He looks like a little short, fat, you tall man. One hundred. It's five weeks old. Eight huh? minutes. Oh yeah, bloody bloody at first. Yeah. <laughs> You're calling Scotland. Hello. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello. Welcome to the program. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the Paul Gubbins show. This is what? The Paul Gubbins show. Is this Dan Peterson? No, 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 but. I'm sorry, um, I believe we called the wrong number. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> what, what, I don't know. 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 It's Why funny when you, when you call the wrong number in Scotland. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have a different number. Scrooge McDuck. That's their number. I just called them. How about let's let's try um wanna try Mike Liley again? It's hard with the I wish I had a better way though. Did you say Mike Liley? Liley. Oh. Um Let me okay. take a hard break here. We're gonna take a hard break. <laughs> hard break. Um, <laughs> we're gonna see if we're gonna go out with a song. I wanna call the Petersons. Okay, we're that music <laughs> Hold on. Uh this this music means that we're, we're running out of time. We'll be back. Oh, you don't get out much for me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, some people say a man. Oh. 
16 Tons, uh, a uh, Merle Travis song performed by the new Rock and Roll Patrol. And we're back here in the studio, segment three. We have with us Steve Savalo. Hello, I'm still <laughs> pleased to be on the program. Um, okay, so... Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, why don't we try? Why don't we see? If, uh, Paul has been messing around with the uh, phone phone hooker upper device, and um, I think we have it up and running. And uh, we're gonna try to call some more people. Who are we gonna? Who are we gonna call? All right, Paul. Um, don't say Ghostbusters. Don't say Mike Clymer. <laughs> um, how about, okay, we could try Brian Sigler. Um, or do you want to uh, try uh, um, one of our other... <laughs> would you rather try Mike again or... Mike Schaus? Mike Lyerly? Or? Mike Lyerly. We could. We, okay. could call. we already left a message on his answering machine. Yeah, but not like he can call us back. Doesn't he have a... Okay. Okay, we'll try Mike again. So, uh, um. <laughs> how's it been going, Paul? It's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Four dollars sixty. I don't think you're supposed to actually let him hear this when you're doing this, because then people will call the number. You're not supposed to let who call what. Oh, I see. Because they might figure out by the beeps. Yeah. You have 161. Not like anybody's going to listen to it anyway. They don't know. Third attempt to call Mike Lightly. Hello? Mike! This is... Welcome to the Paul Gubbins Show. This is Steve Cefalo. Oh, you're on the uh, air. I'm on the air. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not technically on the air, but you will be. I've been on the air ever since I've been married. <laughs> ever since you've been what? No, I don't know. Oh, I was hoping that in the confusion that my friends. <laughs> well, hey guys. Hey, you're you're our first successful guest, or yeah, attempt at getting a guest on our show. Um, so, uh, how's it going? <laughs> going well. <laughs> so, Mike, you've got a... You're currently exhibiting, is that correct? Yes. Um, you're, uh, could you tell us where um, where it is that you're exhibiting your show? Well, um, it's just certain nights, you know, like in this certain alleyway, I'll just kind of... <laughs> Up, uh, and sometimes people, you know, walk by. <laughs> so, did you? you know. <laughs> um, did you get the joke, Paul? <laughs> I think I was. I was. I was looking at my knobs over here. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Um, um, but okay. Well, okay. Well, first, let's 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 uh, let's start this off with. Um, did we call at a bad time? <laughs> What? Did did we call at a bad time? Is this a bad time to have called? Oh, this isn't a bad time. Okay. Because I as know, we're... I have, to, I have to leave in approximately 15 minutes. Well, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But <laughs> okay. 
So, um, so Mike, uh, do you have any suggestions for possible topics that we could cover for this uh. segment of the show? Oh, well, what, uh, what topics have you previously covered? Um, what topics have we covered? We've basically covered uh, how how we should try to go about structuring the show was one of the topics. Who to call? <laughs> Whether we should let the call uh, uh, the callees dictate. Dict- yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, did you get our message earlier? Come again? Did you get our our message earlier? We left well, on your yeah, answer. I just in and I just I just heard it a few min- a few just oh just minutes ago. Did we leave two messages or just one? It was two, but one was infinitely more understandable than the other. Okay, because the first one I, I only the, the second one I only would have known that it was you if if I had heard the first one first. I, I, okay, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, okay, so, um, so Mike, uh, ha- have you, uh, this is not live, by the way. What, what this is, is this is an ex- kind of an experiment. It's a, it's a call out non radio talk show that's going to be actually recorded and then posted on rockmessiah.com, which is Paul's website. Um, uh, to introduce our guest, Mike is um, Mike's been uh, one of my best buddies, and uh, we we went to art school together. He um, sings in Sufi Nun Squad and uh, plays guitar for Tomeo's Key. Um, he is a is a great realist painter and. Uh, and he uh, is a uh, has a- a- acted, I guess, as a sort of a comedian on uh, Fun and Games, the the hit <laughs> Little Rock, Arkansas TV show. So, um, so Mike, have you got any new musical projects in the works? Oh yes, I, in fact, I do. Could um, could you tell us about that? You'd like me to elucidate. No. (laughs) (laughs) Well, um, yes, I just started playing music. um, My music bone has been hidden behind uh, loads of knee fat the last couple of years. (laughs) So I haven't haven't really played much music, but now I'm about to remedy that with a a force, or maybe not, but... Um, I'm about to do something, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't think that answers your question. Um, let's try that again. I I think um, I think I yes, I'm playing music. Oh no! <laughs> so I understand it's a uh, it's a uh, baroque sort of a thing. Is that right? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We uh, we haven't gotten any gigs yet. We haven't gotten paid. Okay, so is is Sufi Nun Squad still a thing? Are there any uh, plans to? Yeah, I mean, yes, it is, but it's 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 probably slowly, slowly, you know, giving up the ghost sort of thing. Okay, um, <laughs> it's just kind of seen. It's you know, we'll probably I'm sure we'll play some more shows and everything, but it's mostly kind of. It's pretty. We've been doing it for a long time, and I think some of us in the band are just kind of ready to move on and try new things. So, but that's. I don't want to speak for everybody. That's how I feel. But I don't know. If that's how everybody. I don't think that's how everybody feels. So, is there anything cool. negative you can say about other members of the band for us today? Um. Well, let's see. Well, not that it's too honest. No. They're pretty. They're pretty. Well, swallows. <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty nice ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yeah. you should um, tell Mike about our visit earlier today with Kyle Kellogg. Oh yeah, Mike. Uh, <laughs> Kyle stopped by. We just. Uh, really? Yeah, Kyle was. Uh, yeah, Kyle stopped by. He's got actually. He's got a kid. He has a baby. Really? Yeah. 
<laughs> what's, what's the baby's name again? Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine Kellogg. <laughs> it's, it's a new breakfast cereal. <laughs> so Jasmine is, let me guess, a, a lady? No, Jasmine is a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kyle didn't give birth to a full. <laughs> <laughs> he just wished he had. What? <laughs> <laughs> and he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's got a really nice girlfriend named, uh, Sarah. Mm-hmm. And they live in Evansville, Indiana. They live he's, in Newburgh, Indiana. Oh, Newburgh. And he's a chef. And, and, oh. um,. Uh, He's got a really nice chef job, and he's got a house. Um, it's really oh, nice to see him. Oh, that's good to hear that he's doing well. Yeah. Hey, didn't they say they were getting married? Yeah, they're going to get married. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then he will have. Um, he will also have stepchildren. That's right. He's yeah. got a. He's got a stepdaughter that's thirteen <laughs> years old. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Hmm. Like instant family with teenagers <laughs> yeah well i you know i uh i could do without the teenagers but i think um something 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 i think i'm trying to make an adult joke <laughs> yeah, I, that's what i thought you were doing <laughs> like teenagers yeah i was trying to think like you know and people like oh you like my teenager do you want to buy it <laughs> one of those kind of jokes I don't, I don't really have the heart for those kind of things. I mean, you can say what you want, because we are operating on a seven-hour delay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, whatever I say, you won't really... By this... Yeah, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, goodness. Have you, any, have you got any questions for me, Mike? Um, or for Paul? Paul, do you have any questions for Mike? No. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Was it? Has that been fifteen minutes? Uh, Do you have to leave now? Uh, yeah, I'm. I have an appointment to go show a restaurant. And that music there means that we are, <laughs> we are running. Uh, our time is running out. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, That's I certainly did. Nice trick. <laughs> did you see a rest? Did you say a restaurant? Yeah, you know that elk painting, Steve? Yeah. You remember that painting? Yes. Did you ever get it back? Oh, it's a restaurant. Yeah, I've got it here. It's I restretched it and everything. I reworked it. It's like a lot better than it was back. Not that it's any good, but it's uh, it's better than it was. Did you say you sold it to a restaurant? I'm about I, I'm about to go meet with this uh, manager of the of a restaurant and see if he wants to buy it. Wow. Yeah, that's my stupid day that I have. <laughs> So why would he want to buy a painting of a, an eight foot painting of an elk? Um, do you mean eight foot four inches by five foot four inches? No. <laughs> oh. Well, um, well, probably won't want to buy it to answer your question, but it's a good lead, maybe. So we'll see. Uh, I'm about to go to Poland, so I'm trying to make make a little dough for my Polish cookie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so why? Uh, why are you going to Poland? I, I, I'm going to ask you Poland. that. Yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, this, I'm peeing on the air. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of a toilet seat. Uh, well, uh, anyway, um, I am going to Poland because the, I'm doing a portrait of this guy. I'm doing a portrait of this guy. In, in, uh, I'm doing a portrait of this guy. Uh, <laughs> there's a, he wants a map. You know, like a painting of a map, and then all the lines <laughs> of the map come in and make make his sweet face on a... Yeah, so I'm doing that. He's flying me to Poland. And, uh... And that's for real? <laughs> yep. Wow, yep. that's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and I get to stay... He has a loft and everything, so I'm going to stay at his place. And, uh, so it's, yep, I'm going at the end of March. And so what I'm trying to do right now is to sell my elk painting so that I can, uh, help my friend Corey, because she wants to go with me. And so, but she doesn't have any money, and 
I told her that if I sold my elk painting that I would buy her ticket. And so I'm <laughs> trying to sell my elk painting. And I'm also, I also want to order a bunch of lectures um, from the teaching course. <laughs> so, hmm. um, so I want money for that, too. And I just want money just to eat and pay rent and um, buy mega tapes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like us to um, do a, a um, like a fundraiser show for you? Well, you probably won't fundraise anything. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't think anybody should feel that sorry for me. Um, I mean, I'm trying to go to Poland, so it's not like you know I have four arms and you know. Uh, well, is, <laughs> I'm going to change this line of. Um, well, you know what I mean, like. You can fundraise for me if you want, but nobody's gonna listen to the show anyway. So, <laughs> but you don't know. You know, I mean, I, I'm really kind of banking on this. <laughs> but, uh, but Mike, you should visit our website at. Is it gonna be at rockmessiah.com? W W W dot dot rockmessiah dot com. Okay, Mike, do you have a new website that's gonna? Are you doing a new website? Is that right? Is it, it, it should go up by hopefully by the end of March. Uh, I'm going to have a art website. Is it going to be? Do you have a? Do you have like a title for it or a website web address? No, it'll be Mike Lirely, I, I think it'll just be MikeLirely.com. Okay. I don't think it, I don't think there's a MikeLirely.com out there, so I'm just going to try to get that because I've, I've done the little Mr. Masterson thing and it's cool, you know. Haha, uh-huh, Mr. Matthews. But I think for my website, I have to have my real name on there. You feel me? Well, I, actually, I've always already registered MikeLarley.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fan <laughs> site. No. no. <laughs> he is a fan, though. Aw. Um. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say something else. Here. Oh, yeah. If people want to go see your show in Little Rock, where should they go to see it? <laughs> they, should go, <laughs> they should go on uh, to uh, Gallery 26 on Cavanaugh Street. Um, and it's close to a uh, park. And it's, um, yeah, you could easily look it up if. If anybody, you know, it's easy to find in the. What city is it in? Oh, I'm sorry. It's on. It's on Little Rock Street, or it's just in Little Rock, <laughs> uh, 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 USA. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Little Rock, Arkansas, the United States of America. Um, one country under God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So should we end that there? Or do you have any controversies or uh... exciting? Um, well, let's see. Let me, I can maybe think of a fun fact. Okay. Um, I found out that probably a lot of people know this already, but um, in English, a lot of the reason that a lot of the words are spelled totally different in the way they sound, mm-hmm. like the word me, you know, it's it yeah. used to be. In the old English, it used to be "cane," and and uh, every word that it seems misspelled was is actually used to be pronounced the way it's spelled. Really, "mariage," <laughs> and all those words that had a silent letter, they used to actually have that pronounce pronunciation. Negahabor. Yeah, oh, like ne- neighbor, negaber, negahabor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they sound kind of German, you know, like you know because. You know, because English came from a Germanic tungu, and uh, so, so you know, so that's why. And uh, so every single letter used to be pronounced um, at one time. Wow! Thanks, Mike. Yeah. yeah, that's my fun fact. That's extremely interesting. How'd you know that? Uh, I listened. I've been listening to a course on. Uh, how the English language is called the history of the English language, hmm. and they talked about that quite a bit. And in and in, in, in Middle English, well, in even in okay, so in Shakespeare, whenever they say whenever they write goeth or cometh or yeah. something, they still at that time they would have pronounced it goes and comes. 
but they were still writing it. They were still spelling it the old way. Huh. Yeah. So they and just so eventually time, dropped the T when it dropped right. the silent T. Yeah. Huh. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And that's uh, that's about as much fun facts as I can <laughs> muster right now. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, well, thank you for me, guys. Yeah. And that music in the background means that we're we're coming on a hard break here. You can you can listen to this broadcast on rockbeside.com, Mike. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what? Bye. Oh, okay. Wait, we turn the music down. <laughs> Are you still there? Uh, that was Mike Lyerly. Okay, we need to work on the the. Maybe we should go to a break now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to a break now. Mm-hmm. We need to. One thing we need to do for future, knowing what to do, we need to work on our breaks. Um, right? How to go to them? Okay. And how to in phone conversations sure. like that. Okay, there we go. We're going off now. Oh. Yeah. Awkward shift. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back, but just to say that although we're back, we will be back. We'll be gone until tomorrow. At look for look for the tomorrow show. Well, it'll be posted tomorrow night to this very self same website. Please email any of your ideas for the show, things we might cover, or ways we might improve on the show, or. Email it to. I'll uh, just go to the contact page at um, www.rockmessiah.com. And if you're listening to this on some other um, place besides from rockmessiah.com, you can find shows at <laughs> www.rockmessiah.com. We're here with Stephen Cefalo of www.stephencefalo.com. It's Stephen with a P-H, Cefalo, C-E-F as in Frank, A-L-O. I was spelling something for Chris over the phone, and I said, why? All right, what I meant is W as in Y. <laughs> well, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. When I see the undertaker is my friend and he will take me where the evenings never end it's getting late Lord. I guess that you must go Taker is my friend.